Hey gang, I wanted to do a quick video introduction on Sinai. This is the 1973 S&T Magazine game. Uh, one of the cool things about this particular title is that it has some additional scenarios for 56 and 67, and then a handful of other smaller scenarios as well. The 73 scenario actually has uh, some extra rules for uh, to reflect the Egyptian and uh, Jordanian forces uh, kind of beefed up and Syrian uh, forces beefed up capabilities and their SAM batteries and things like that. So there's another two pages of rules, but all up there's only 12 pages of rules. And really, uh, when you get down to the meat and potatoes of this little boy here, uh, you can skip very quickly to rule 10, supply because everything else prior to that is your standard uh, S&T magazine fare. Uh, I think this was number, oh, I forget which number it was actually, I, I'd be guessing if I even tried to say it, it doesn't have it here on the cover. Uh, I don't have the magazine. So <clears throat> everything, it's standard deal, right? Uh, you move, you stop when you're in Arizona control, you pay your terrain movement points, uh, stacking is three units, you uh, conduct combat like you would in any other hex encounter game. Got to attack the entire attack the entire stack. Uh, you can break your stacks up and do multi hex attacks, all that sort of fun stuff. One of the nice things it does do with the CRT, which is a little bit different, and then uh, has uh, follow on consequences in a couple other rules later on, is it provides it, it runs not on ratios but on combat factor differentials. And so you're looking at you know plus one or plus four or plus eight differential that will uh, then drive the combat result. And the combat result is gonna be predicated upon retreats. So if you are able to retreat, you retreat uh, one, two or three hexes depending on the type of unit you are and what the result is. Now, of course, if you can't retreat, you're eliminated. Now, here's the, here's the tricky thing. If we skip forward to some of the, uh, I would call these the optional rules, right? They're not optional, they're part of the game, but they're, maybe they're the <clears throat> thematic rules that are required for the particular simulation. So the fear rule here will double the defense factors of a uh, Syrian or Egyptian unit if they're trapped. So if they cannot retreat, you have your defense factors doubled. Well, that's kind of rough, isn't it? For the uh, Israelis, and you do a good job, and you surround the guys. You're thinking, well, I'm going to wipe these guys out because they can't retreat. Well, they they uh, get to double their defense. Aha, uh -huh, you say, that doesn't sound very fair. Well, if you look closely here, you can see the waving Israeli zones of control rule, 12.2. Israelis can elect to waive these zones of control uh, for a given attack, and that will then obviously perhaps allow the Syrians to retreat somewhere and then they'll you know they'll be forced out of the country or maybe you've got them surrounded and you've got zones of control and their retreat path is going to be blocked and so they'll be eliminated so it's a nice little uh, uh, rule to kind of get some flavor the Jordanian participation table here there's uh, certain limitations but uh, placed on the Jordanians for the first four turns of the game Arab command and control this is a really tough rule I think, I haven't played the game yet, but what's going to happen here is we are going to roll a die uh, every turn in the uh, control command control phase, and the last digit, the last digits that represent, the digits that are represented in the table are going to be uh, referenced on the map, and the last, any units that have, uh, that are in, say, uh, hex, where is the board so you can see, here, uh, hex 2940, if we rolled on the table and we came up with a zero in the table or a one in the table or a two in the table and we had units in those tables those units are flipped over and then they must retreat towards their supply source mmm tough <laughs> so that uh, reflects the uh, the some of the command and control issues there's this trucking metaphor you know how how do you represent non-mechanized infantry that are still able to kind of get around fairly quickly. It's kind of a kludgy rule, but it works. There's an air mobile battalion that has some dinky rules to it. Nothing very exciting there. So I'll be interested to play this uh, pretty soon. We'll get started on that as part of our modern war 
sort of theme that we have going where we've been playing through all the lock and load scenarios that are modern war. We've been playing the SBI titles from the World War III series. Uh, I've already played Yom Kippur from the SCS group. That's uh, this game here. Uh, obviously, similar, similar topic to uh, this one, and uh, but a much, but a much smaller area, of course. Uh, it's only you know, here you go. You can see the area there, and I quite like Yom, Yom Kippur. If you use some of the optional rules that are floating around from some of the, the magazines, that kind of fix a few things. Kind of typical SCS game. Nice and simple, but uh, it, it lacks a couple of bits and pieces here and there. Anyway, so on with uh, this s and magazine. I'm looking forward to playing the game, and we'll uh, check in in a week or two. I won't be doing too many detailed reports on it. I'm not sure that folks will be that interested in it. I've had this for a very long time, uh, and I have never punched it. And we will, uh, we will uh, get busy clipping and punching. Talk to you soon.